Hi, it's Rich. Here's how you're killing me. I can't go to police because I identify illness. I can't get a lawyer because I've been scapegoated and I'm a failed whistleblower and I have my freedom of information rejected from the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet. I've lost millions at AFCA. I've lost another million at Australian Human Rights Commission. WorkCover refuses to pay me out. It went from WorkSafe in Victoria to Comcare, who reject liability, and now it's onto the AAT, where it just sits. And I have another TPD payment that was paid in 2008, which I have another unit for, but they know I can't go to AFCA and I can't get a lawyer. My former partner, Steve Isonides, owes me a settlement for our five-year relationship, the deceitful time that he um, um, exploited me. I am not delusional. I'm distressed. I'm crazy. I might be on drugs. I might have had regretful sex. I've got a clean criminal record. Here is how this movement of oppression and categorical character assassination has already killed me. And it is um, in February um, two th uh, 2021, for which I can't get a compensation for for the hospital and for which the government now forcibly medicates me for what? Delusions of persecution. I'm a multi-millionaire. Please help me. That's crystal on the bed. I live in a squat. I'm worth multi-millions of dollars. I worked for 20 years of my life advocating for marginalized people with mental illnesses from all walks of life. I've spoken from parliament to Dubbo to um, Montreal, and I'm also an exhibiting artist of 20 years. I'm at my wit's end. The world has forsaken me. My own sister, Jody Bongetti, says I'm a druggo and a schizo and get the fuck out of their lives. My own father says that um, I need to go to police and do it myself, and I don't give him permission to act. Anyone in the world has permission to act on this injustice. My own mother says, I recorded a doctor. That was an accident. I was framed as an extortionist by a very powerful lawyer, Mr. Ball, who informs government policy and the ombudsman. I have reverse engineered a, um, a movement to destroy me, and it has, and then there's been a cover up, and the government has watched me burn and suffer for the last at least 18 months when I was on sick leave already from my failed sexual abuse case where I was the victim at VOCAT and another VOCAT case and I became ill from work and um, and I can't remember what I was saying but I've got a brain impairment now and I have no doctor. I have no rights, I have no value, I have no dignity or human worth. If you have looked at the talks I've done and the stuff that's coming up in the left, can you please just put some money into my account. If you believe in justice, then I will pay you five times the amount back, if not for just helping out someone who has suffered enough. I've had regretful sex. I've admitted that. I've got a clean criminal record. I'm not a bad person. Anything and anyone with sentience has worth and deserves a second chance. I'm just not innocuously um, prejudiced or ignored, there is a pointed effort to kill me. And it will, because without love, without company, um, people in positions of privilege and power and agency and control, when they still have it, in their lives could intervene to help me. We could go to the police together. You could get me a lawyer. You could pass on some money to the PRD below and it would immediately see me have food. This is an abhorrent um, character assassination and political prisoner thing going on. My name is Dr. Rich McLean. I've worked my way up from humble beginnings and I've proven beyond doubt that I am an equitable, equal, and fair person and I give with my heart. I have bravely told my story many times 
and it's now become me and I'm exploited and damned for it. I am owed multi millions of dollars. Please, if you can help me, come to the police with me, share this video, because the, there is three ways this goes. Either I kill myself or I'm forced to be a vagrant, or I am anyway. This is unjust. Um, or I'm forced onto the street or I'm incarcerated or framed with a crime I haven't done. That is the outcomes of this unless you, the person who is watching this video, intervenes. I beg of you, will you come to the police with me? I've got all the evidence. It's true. I'm mad. That doesn't mean I have no worth or dignity and it doesn't mean that I'm wrong. The world has forsaken me and I ask you to please invest in my justice because I'll pay it times five times back when my justice comes through. The opposite to justice not coming through is that I die and I'm not afraid because I haven't got one person in the world to support me and that's the truth. Ethics means do no harm and every single person um, um, who has been involved in this huge movement of oppression and a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice and an abhorrent and vile victimization of me as a person is guilty. I've already died from this oppression in February 2021 inside a hospital and it was deemed a fatal injury. I had lost faith in people. And 18 months on, I'm still screaming it from the rooftops and no one will help me. And that's why the world's forsaken me. And if no one intervenes, that's why I'm dead. And you can all carry the collective guilt of knowing that you acted as one stick in the faggot that killed me. I don't want to die. Please help me.